Yo yo, what's up guys? Back again with Nimato. Today video I'll be show you guys the process of this original t-shirt design for streetwear clothing brand using Adobe Photoshop. It's a very simple design with a very straightforward concept, so nothing weird going on like my usual design. But you know sometimes simplicity is all you need and hopefully after watch this video you can get some of inspiration or idea into your own clothing business. So without further ado, let's go. Obviously, I create new document and let's start with 3000 by 3000 pixel with resolution 300 and I call it t-shirt design. Alright guys, so starting off, I'm just going to throw the bars, these three images into one. Basically, I'm going to get rid of the body of the grenade right here and then I'm going to leave the cap over the recall this section here and replacing the body with the rock dollars. If you're wondering where I got this asset, I put the link in the description, so let's dive in. So now I realize the rolls of dollars looks too small if I were to match the size proportion of the lips to the brunette cap. My solution to that is I'm going to size up the roll of dollars to the size that I want and then separate the lip section of the dollars into another layer and finally use the perspective transform tool to make it smaller on top. I really hope that this works so let's see. Now I want to change the green cap to the full colors so it looks uh, more standout and contrast between the whole image. I'm using the gradient tool to make the working color. It's so really easy to play with it. Just pick the black color for the contrast and pick the gold yellow color for the highlight. And automatically give me more realistic sense from this design. After all the image are in the position I want, now I am add the shadow with all the needs to make it more plain and unified. As usual, I create a new layer and apply it using regular soft brush and paint it all over which is upside of the leg shorts and try play with blend mode to get soft and smooth shadow, not too much exposure of it, just to give a little touch, that's good. fire overlay the design and place it to the bottom of dollars to make a uh, line it's burning on. I changed the blade mode from normal to hot like to make it more unified and I think it will be cool touch to overall design before I move on to the next step. Ok if you are new here please check my other video on how to make a street pressure design for your own clothing and leave some comment if you want to deep dive into know any tips or tricks that I use to create your design like this. So that's good. Now everything looks realistic in terms of size, so now moving on the colors and contrast correction. I start with the curve tool by making the design stronger in contrast and then I'll move on to select the color to play with the overall aesthetic and types of this design. And I move on to the gradient mode tool to maintain colors pop and unified. I play with blend mode and the opacity. Lastly, I load up my camera roll filter and apply a color preset to sum it all up.
Okay guys, now I'm making a preview for this design and it just come up for optional touch honestly and I think I need more something organic so they're dressing the sofa hat I put them all for being a frame for this design and give the best proportion looks before I add the text and I load up all my color preset before to zoom it all Let's go! Going to the next step, I pick my texture. I want a more simple this time, just using the default and set it by face on the stuff. I add the title for this design, which is delusion, and spread as a letter to the side. Nothing worth going on on visual design, but you know, sometimes simplicity is all you need. After I've got the perfect adjustment to the design and I'm quite so happy with it. Considering this design will be played into the shirt, so I split it into the big shirt mock-up. It's good. Alright guys, so that is for today video. I hope you learned something from it and call to play that's your own clothing brand. Anyways guys, subscribe and like to this channel if you haven't yet. I'll be uploading more after now. You definitely don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next video. See you.